Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I am Lindsay Funtick, the coordinator of volunteer ministries at Ashland First UMC. And I'm Daniel Riem. I'm the coordinator of family and youth ministries here at Ashland First. The young bloods have taken over the weekly preview. And it'll be that's right. Hip and trendy. Yeah. She did a TikTok dance. Got the millennials can you, doing it. Can this? you floss? I can't. I can't, I can't either. We're I too know, old like, for one that. TikTok dance. <laughs> Which is a shame for how much of it I watch. Um, that, well, that's okay. It's nice to watch other people make rules of themselves. Exactly. Yes. That's not BS. Yes. So we're here enjoying our Monday morning, nice and rainy, nice and busy. Did you have a good weekend? I did have a good weekend. I don't remember what I did this weekend, but it was like, nice. It was a blur. I- I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was great. I hear that you're you're preparing for some classes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just, so actually my last set of books came in yesterday. Oh. So I was going through all my books for the classes, um, which start next week. Oh my and gosh. It, yeah, I know. That's and it's, insane. So yeah, it's gonna, gonna come it. pretty quick. I'm excited. There's nothing like that return to school feeling. Yeah. And I know a lot of folks out there are are doing that right yeah. now. Getting their school supplies. And I talked to a friend yesterday who is a I think she's a preschool or kindergarten teacher. Oh. And so she went back to school today. So it's all very, very exciting. It's that season, yeah. And it's good for those of us who like office supplies because mm-hmm. we can go to Walmart and get the whole shebang. I watched so many highlighters the other day. <laughs> so many highlighters. highlighters. What a nerdy delight. I know, right? thing. So I have so Look many highlighters. highlighters. And all my color coordinated notebooks. And oh, folders. you're good to go. Oh, yeah. I always had the best intentions. Yeah. But... Never stick to it. Anywho, let's talk about what's going on this week. All right. All right. So tell us about what's going on today. We have VBS today. Woo-hoo! So it's our first day of VBS. Really excited. Yes. Um, And that starts at five o'clock tonight. So kids can get dropped off anytime after like 4 45. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll start VBS and we're gonna have games. Someone's doing a skit. Who could that be? Someone I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> is putting her degree to good use. Yeah. We'll have a skit. Um, and we've got games, we've got a Bible lesson, mm-hmm. we've got a really fun snack plan for tonight mm-hmm. that we're gonna go work on here in a few minutes. Yes. Um, and it's it's gonna be great. I'm excited mm-hmm. for it. I can't wait. Yeah. I've been planning for it for like two months. So yeah. that was like my first project. I started planning on when I started here. So the culmination. Yes, here we go. <laughs> so what is the theme? Tell us again. So the theme is come to the table mm-hmm. and it is focusing on how Jesus invites everyone to come to his table. Mm-hmm. And then tonight we're going to talk about the parable of the wedding feast. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying I'm to get my energy up to like kid level. Yeah. So a few more cups of coffee and I think I'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, and for those of you who might have kids or grandkids that are interested, but have not registered yet bring them bring them anyway yep. yeah we'll have registration forms available um so just show up a few minutes early and we'll get you all signed up and Beautiful. we'll be good to go awesome. and it's totally free so there's what no cost to it um we do have a donation table mm-hmm. and we're taking some like food donations for associate charities mm-hmm. um since our theme has come to the table it seems like it'd be nice for us to also do something for the community that sticks to that theme so donate food to the uh the food pantry seems like a good way to do that i love that so, that's fantastic yes looking forward to it so looking into Tuesday, uh, we will have our regular uh, Bible study uh, at Union, or excuse me, at Downtown Perk at 10 and at Uniontown at 7. Um, so come for that. Pastor Allen will also send out Zoom links if you would like to join but would not like to come in person. So he's got the whole technical setup. So join us if you can. Uh, and then also tomorrow night, VBS continues. And I believe that the parable might be the bread and fish it is the oh you're quizzing me it is the feeding I know, of the 5000 okay, fe- okay. The story. yes yeah. okay feeding of the 5, okay maybe you'll have to come to hear about the rest of the parables so that we don't i might remember them so we'll see <laughs> okay. what happens yeah. okay so uh we'll be talking a little bit more about how god provides yeah yeah uh so that will be really fun mm-hmm. the fun continues yes yes and then Wednesday, we have prayer respite from 11 to noon in the mm-hmm. sanctuary for anyone that wants to come and join us. Mm-hmm. And then in the evening, we have VBS again. What do you And know? <laughs> it's the story of Zacchaeus. I remember that one. You got it. And it's this. focusing on how Jesus' invitation changes everything mm. and how our lives change when we come to know Jesus. Amen. I love that so much. <laughs> yes. And then Thursday, it is, you guessed it, VBS. It's going to be great. And that is the uh, Last Supper. Boom. Yeah. Okay. We hired a good guy <laughs> to lead us in VBS. So yeah. that's a very, very powerful thing. Uh, so again, come join us and also please just be praying for the efforts for all of us who are here volunteering, doing some things with VBS, um, pray for the kids. Uh, and thank you to everyone that's making it happen. Yeah. So one thing that's really exciting about VBS this year is that it's not just our church doing it. Oh yes. Yeah. That's, that's probably a good thing to, yeah. to mention. <laughs> 
Um, so we're doing it in partnership with First Presbyterian and Come Alive Community Church. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going to be all three of us that are, we're all working together mm -hmm. um, to put this VBS on collaboratively, Yes, uh, which is great. We're all churches. I mean, you can see all three of those churches from mm -hmm. a parking lot. Um, we're all here in the same neighborhood. So it just makes sense that we would yeah. we'd work together. Absolutely. It's a continuation of Family Fun Day. Too. That's exactly what it is. The fun yeah. continues. The fun continues. Yes. This time for a whole week. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Uh, and then Friday, BBS, what's our parable for Friday? Uh, Friday is breakfast on the beach. And it is when Jesus uh, restores Peter. That is one of my favorite stories. I love that one. It's one of mine too. And uh, Pastor Allen is going to make an appearance in the skit as a grumpy old yeah. man, very out of character, oh, yeah, of course. Completely. <laughs> and he gets to tell the story of Breakfast on the Beach in the skit. So uh, come on down if you just want to be a spectator yeah. for that. You just want to um, see it. Yeah. And so in addition to VBS this week, you also are preaching on Sunday. It's a busy one it's for me. It's a busy yeah. week. Next week, you should do, you should take it easy. But... Next week, I start seminary. Yeah. Oh, so oh yeah. Take be. it easy. Start yeah. my master's program. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Um, no, it's a week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did music on Sunday and then VBS this week. And then I preach on Sunday and then I start, I hope, then I start my master's. I hope no big you don't deal. like sleep. I don't. I was going to say, what, I joke that I live here. Yeah. like, come join. <laughs> yeah. I think the seven years as a firefighter working 24 hour oh. shifts taught me that I don't need sleep. So <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You um, can roll we got a cure. I'll be fine. Lots of coffee. Um, but yeah, I'm preaching this Sunday. Yeah, tell us so more. That's exciting. Um, so uh, I'm going to continue with the gospel reading is what I'm preaching mm -hmm. on. Um, and it's actually going to be kind of a continuation of Pastor Allen's sermon this mm -hmm. Sunday. It was He kind of set me up really well, which nice. is great um, and wasn't on purpose. Mm -hmm. It just worked out that the way. Spirit. And it's going to be about... Um, when Jesus talks about, I'm the bread of life, eat my flesh, drink my blood. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people stop following him after that. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus talks to Peter, well, he talks to the 12 and says, are you going to leave me too? And we get Peter's famous saying of where else would we go? Because you have the words of eternal life. Mm. Um, so I'm going to talk about that someday. Yeah. Where else would we go? Beautiful. Amen. I love that so much because there is so much truth in the fact that like, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. There's nowhere else to go. Yeah. At one place. Yeah. Amen. Um, and then speaking of Sunday, Sunday evening, we have yes. one more thing with VBS. Tell yes. More. Um, so I keep calling it the closing ceremony the because closing ceremony. of the Olympics. And that's. Yeah. We'll I, have pedestals for kids mm -hmm. to stand. Rank our favorites. Just kidding. <laughs> yes. That won't happen. Um, <laughs> You're all our favorites. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I keep calling the closing ceremony because I can't think of a better term. I like it. And every time I try and think of one, I can't. So okay. we'll have the closing ceremonies on yes. Sunday. And it's going to be at five o'clock in Dow mm -hmm. Hall. And that's an opportunity for people from the churches. Um, so even if you don't have kids in VBS, if you just want to come and see what we did throughout the week, we're inviting people from all three churches to come and all the families to come and the kids. And we'll have snacks and you'll get to try some of the snacks we had during the week. And we'll have some of the kids' artwork mm -hmm. and crafts displayed. And we'll just talk about what we did during the week, what we learned during the week. And then kids will get their uh, certificates. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll just be kind of a fun open house and I love closing it. ceremony. I love it so much. Yeah. Um, yes, the closing ceremony. Right, I yeah. get to carry the torch. Everyone gets their medals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we'll be getting um, the gold medal. <laughs> yeah, naturally. Yeah. Um, yeah, that it's gonna be a really good week. Yeah. It's gonna be busy but good. Yeah, um, I'm excited for it. Yeah. So Lindsay, what is on your mind? Oh, what is on my mind? I actually had something on my mind earlier, but what something you said here in the conversation sparked it that the fact that Jesus it, Jesus's invitation changes everything. Mm -hmm. And just the theme of come to the table and um, to be invited when we might not feel deserving, mm. um, you know, who, who can, who can stand before the holiness of God, but God makes room for us, not just to bow before him, uh, but to eat beside him yeah. and to eat of his flesh and drink of his blood. And so the fact that we are invited broken as we are is powerful in and of itself, but it also brings, brings power to the fact that all are invited. Mm -hmm. I love the open table of the United yeah, Methodist church me too. and, uh, come to the table means that undeserving as we are, we've been invited mm -hmm. and our friends, our neighbors and our enemies are yeah. also invited. And I think that that's a very powerful thing because when we reflect on mu the much grace we have been given, mm -hmm. it can inspire us to also give grace. So while Jesus has pulled chairs out so we can all come, we can also participate in pulling chairs out so yeah. that all can come. And Jesus's invitation really does change everything. And that extends to ourselves, but also to those around us who we may or may not choose to have at our dinner party, but um, the Lord has invited them and makes calls us all worthy call like 
calls us by name. Yeah. That's, that's where I'm going with that. So just such a powerful thing to reflect on. And I love, love, love um, the way that something designed for kids mm -hmm. can bring so much theological depth and beauty. You know, some of the, Daniel has curated a wonderful book collection of books for our nursery area. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. I read them and I sit in my office and cry because there's just so much beauty and truth. Uh, so I think that that's what we're in store for this yeah. week, that lots of beauty, lots of truth, uh, told in a simple package. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Well, that was great. Yeah. So on that note, why don't you pray us out? Yeah, for sure. Well, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this week and for all that you have in store. Uh, we just thank you for the opportunity to get to partner with these other churches. And we pray that, that would just continue. Uh, we just echo your prayer in John 17, where you pray that we would be one with each other in the same way that you are one with the Father. Mm -hmm. um, we just pray that for an increased movement of unity amongst the churches. And we pray for every kid and every family that comes to our doors this week we get to minister to, where they would just come and know that they are loved and that they are invited to come to the table as they are, and that there is a seat for them um, and a place with their name on it. Lord, we pray that you just continue to make us a community that extends that same welcome. Um, to our brothers and sisters and neighbors and enemies. Lord, we thank you for all this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, have a great week. Be praying for us over yes. here, hanging out with kids. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all very soon. So take yeah. care.